Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands. And for this video, I'm going to be talking about Ghostwatch. So this was the uh, very controversial BBC programme. It was broadcast on Halloween night in 1992. And it plays out like a, a, a real everyday domestic BBC broadcast. It mainly takes place in the studio, uh, but it goes back and forth occasionally to a team of presenters in London and they are presenting on a supposedly haunted house and there's the TV presenters and a small group of like paranormal experts and they're sort of interviewing and getting to know the family it's a, a woman and her two young daughters who are just sort of um, recounting some of the scary things that have gone on in this house and it's kind of slow to start. It's a pretty sleepy presentation, really. Uh, but it becomes more apparent as we go on that these hauntings and the scary things that they're talking about are very real. And we go from a pretty steady, everyday BBC broadcast on our plunge into something that is increasingly scary and out of control. And it's all captured on the BBC cameras and and uh, televised through the studio, as I say, as if it was completely real. We get phone-ins from people that are watching uh, and things like that. It's a pretty intense experience. Now, me and my dad did film a bit of an unboxing video of this Blu-ray. I wasn't too happy with the video. I, I wasn't great physically, to be honest. I couldn't sit still very well. Uh, and I wasn't too happy with what, what I filmed. Um, but my dad was great, and I really appreciate him giving his time. So I'm going to show a little bit of that unboxing video. He shows the box off up close really well, and we have a bit of a nice conversation about Ghostwatch. And then I'll let you know what I think about what was a, a really uh, interesting and captivating TV show. Hi, YouTube. Welcome to another edition of Horror Hands. Um, While I got my dad here, I thought it'd be cool to do an unboxing, um, I don't do many unboxings, of a um, really cool limited edition set that I was able to get the other day. So, do you want to do the honours? Yeah, enough? this is the said box. Open this. Doesn't give a lot away at the moment. No, I literally just got this in today. The box has got me, got, got, got me stumped. There we go. Oh, yeah. It's a big, uh, big box. Yeah. Okay, so this is a limited edition set there from 101 Films of Ghost Watch, which was like a BBC production in the early 90s. Uh, I think it aired as if it was real, as, as if real ghosty. Well, it caused a lot of controversy, didn't it, when this was on? Cause yeah. Because people actually thought it was real. Yeah, I've heard accounts of people that thought it was real. Yeah. Um, so really cool to get this. This actually scared me in a different way yeah. because I forgot to pre-order it and I went on like a day later and it yeah. completely sold out. Couldn't find it anywhere so I had to do a little bit of looking around but I was able to get a copy. Um, I was a bit, yeah. I paid a bit more than what I wanted to. But. I think what made it also genuinely scary is the gentleman here, Michael Parkinson, has always been a straight, mm -hmm. genuine, nice guy you know, TV presenter. Mm, not uh, used to seeing him. And it, this just, well, it, you know, it, it really did uh, scare a few people when it came on TV because people thought, a bit real. So sort of that awesome Wells and War of the Worlds. Yes. Yeah. All right, so Ghostwatch. So I'd heard a little bit about Ghostwatch over the years and I'd heard sort of like urban legends of people being traumatised when this was for first broadcast and people thinking it was real and things like that so I went into this with high expectations and I actually thought you know I could possibly be watching the scariest tv program ever with this one so what did I think well I think first of all I have to say in 1992 I cannot comprehend how terrifying this must have been it must have absolutely scared people witless I'm almost glad that I didn't come across this as a kid because I think it really would have bothered me. Probably would have needed some child therapy after seeing this one. But it almost seems a bit cruel to unleash this on the unsuspecting British public 
uh, on the BBC at a time when things like this just weren't a thing. Uh, so top marks for originality and the way this was presented. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think what really works for this is it's very British formality. It's very, very sort of organised and sort of well-to-do and everyone's trying to maintain professionalism and sort of that British stiff upper lip uh, when actually things are getting more and more out of control and no one really knows what's going on. But they try and keep it together uh, in this very kind of well-to-do way. And I think that works very well. It stops it from feeling gimmicky, which it is, but it just stops that from being so apparent. And also, my dad mentioned this in, in the previous clip, the, the casting in this is genius. So it's presented by Michael Parkinson, who, as my dad said, was a very well-respected TV presenter. He wasn't an actor. He presented TV shows and did interviews. So again, to see him on this just kind of legitimised it a bit into that this was an actual serious proper TV show. And everybody else in this, uh, I believe, are from a TV presenter background. So there's no actors uh, in this to kind of break that illusion. So absolutely genius casting there. I give them a lot of credit for that. And then the the thing itself is, is really scary. To this day, it's very, very scary. Uh, it takes quite a while to build up. It's quite slow. Um, but it kind of adds to it because you're just feeling more and more tense as things go on. And uh, and then when things do happen, it gets sort of scarier and scarier. And then the last sort of 15, 20 minutes, particularly the last 15 minutes, I've got to say, are intensely scary. It still pretty much holds up. Uh, and it's really, really frightening stuff. So I give them a lot of credit. I've got to be honest, I think some of its bite has gone over the years. I mean, this is like, what, 30 years old now, and we've just we've seen so many more intense movies, things like Paranormal Activity, Insidious, a lot of sort of found footage movies. We've seen we've seen other things now that have been more scary, more violent, more more intense than what this is. But as I say, in nineteen ninety two, I can't I can't imagine how this must have made people feel. So is it the scariest TV programme of all time? It certainly must be up there. It, it really has to be. Uh, it has some really scary moments. So I'm, I'm saying it's got to be top five at least. And, and on the whole, like I say, it does still hold up very well. It, 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 kept, it kept me up, <laughs> put it that way. I went to bed and it was, it was playing on my mind. So, so job done there. I think... Uh, this is certainly worth a watch just to almost see a piece of TV history because there is nothing else like this that came out at the time and not a lot since, uh, to be honest, in terms of TV broadcasts over here in the UK. Uh, and it's just a really interesting piece of work. Very, very interesting what they put together here. And um, not a huge fan of the BBC, I have to say, but I'd give them credit back in the day for creating this. It's an absolutely fantastic TV programme, movie, whatever you want to call it, on the whole, completely uh, believable, uh, very, very creepy and very enjoyable as well. I, I really like this one and how it was set up. And this uh, this 101 set uh, is also really nice. You get, you get postcards and a couple of really thick booklets uh, in this. There's some unbo proper unboxings here on YouTube, which you can see. So I would definitely recommend checking this out. I think people will find it a bit slow compared to some of the modern day stuff, but it's definitely worth a watch. It's really interesting and a really good piece of, of television. So let me know if you've seen Ghost Watch. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're one of the people in 1992 who watched this and thought it was real. I'd love to hear from you if you were. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.